guys, happy day before Halloween. Oh my goodness, tomorrow is Halloween. I don't know how it's possible. I'm not ready for it. I mean, I'm ready for it, but like, and then it's done. It's over till next year. <laughs> not mentally there. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys my Halloween costume this year. Um, like I said at the very beginning of the month when I showed you how to make your very own Death Eater mask in Potter Projects, which I will leave that link down below, um, I just felt like going back to my roots and being a Death Eater for Halloween. Um, a Death Eater was the first thing from Harry Potter I dressed up as for Halloween. There we go, I can talk. <laughs> so for my Death Eater costume, I started with this plain black long sleeve shirt. You've seen this in a couple of my videos before. It's one of my favorite shirts ever. For my makeup, I went really dark and just really exaggerated my the black, the fake eyelashes, the red lip. I also wore this necklace. It's like an emerald and diamond necklace. I just thought it was very like rich and green and Death Eater like. So over my black long sleeve shirt I put on this black dress. It's also one of my favorite dresses. It tends to be my funeral dress but it's a dress I love. It's so comfortable and I threw on some black tights underneath that. For my footwear, I put on my trusty knee-high black boots. Of course, you have to have a cloak. This was not my first choice. It's just like a really cheap one from Walmart, but it actually looks pretty good with this outfit. But I don't think anyone's going to buy me as a Death Eater with this Weasley red hair. So. I am actually going to be wearing a wig this year. I have not worn a wig in forever and I just decided to go with a simple black wig. Wigs always look weird on me I think, but I'm going to go with it. And of course I am missing one pretty important thing. My Death Eater mask, which I showed you guys how to make on Potter Projects at the first of the month. And I don't know, with the costume as a whole, I think it looks so good. So you're also gonna, of course, need a dark mark, which I got this tattoo from Spirit Halloween, but I'll also link the video where I show how to make your very own homemade dark mark. So overall, I am so happy with how my costume turned out. I am so excited to wear it, yay! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, DIY Death Eater costume. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. I hope we get trick-or-treaters tomorrow night. You guys should let me see what you're going to be for Halloween this year. You can tag me on Instagram, send me a Snapchat. I will leave all those links down below. And oh, happy Halloween you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.